Hi guys, Ragtech here. And in this video, I'll be showing you what is on my iPod Touch 5th generation. So without further ado, I would like to get started. And, and we'll start off the top left corner. We have App Store, iTunes, Music, Facebook, Find Friends, Flipboard, YouTube, Mail, Flash, Flashlight, Calendar, Camera, Photos, Clock, uh, wallpapers HD, uh, um, wallpapers for iPhone 5, and HD wallpapers. That's my wallpapers folder. Uh, reminders, contacts, settings, Evernote, videos, notes, and on my dock we have cartoons, Google Chrome, the best ever web browser I if you ask me, because I don't, I hardly use the Safari web, um, web browser. I just, I'm not into that anymore. So, and that, yeah, so we have messages where you just send messages to another iOS device. I'm pretty sure you should know that. Uh, then we have Spotify. And the next page we have Netflix, Find Friends, AccuWeather, Safari, Passbook, Calculator, Voice Memos, Weather. And then we have Newsstand. I have three um, articles. Everything to do with technology, because I love technology. <laughs> Maps uh, didn't turn out really good for me, because I think everyone on YouTube has expressed their anger towards this app. Um, it's really inaccurate, and Apple, I think, is still working on it. I'm not sure. Um, so we'll, we'll just move on. We'll have Instagram, iMovie, Stocks, Game Center. Geekbench and uh, Geekbench score for me on my but touch fifth generation was uh, six hundred thirty two, and my iPhone five I had one thousand six hundred thirty two, and on my iPad three I had a score of one thousand seven hundred seventy one. Pretty satisfied with that. Then we have FaceTime. Then we have in my lifestyle folder we have CNN, Shopper Nova, I download blog, Apple Store, Oprah Mini. Soundhound, Zbox, Google Drive, Remote, where you access iTunes using this app as a remote, um, Dropbox, iBooks, Bump, where you bump another iOS device to receive files and transfer them, I guess, yeah. And then we have Starbucks, pretty useful for um, using Passbook app for any Passbook, Passbook users. Quick Share, similar to Bump. Now then we have Twitter. Product, in my productivity folder, we have Action Movie, Beatwave, uh, Pandora, iGun Pro HD, Free App a Day, Sound Drop, pretty good app. I might just go into that quickly. Play. They just draw lines down there. As you see, I missed. Pretty good app. Pretty awesome, I know. Pretty, it's free, don't worry about that. Feature Points, where you get paid apps for free. Um, speed test, so test your speed in downloading or Wi-Fi or anything like that, yep. Class Medio, then we have Shazam, similar to Soundhound, Fandango, um, Mobile Mouse, and iTunes U. Then we have my, my app. I'm not going to go in depth review on all of these apps, I'm just going to go into some of these apps. I'm well aware that you might know what Angry Birds and Angry Birds Space and Angry Birds Space ah Angry Birds Star Wars and Angry Birds Space ah sorry for that um, Asphalt Seven uh, I might quickly just go into that has it has been optimized for the four inch display just 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 yep so this is a pretty good game it has been optimized for the four inch retina display. Okay, now we're going to do a quick play. Korea, sorry. No. Continue. So, this is a really good racing game. It's 90 cent, 99 cents in the App Store. Um, I think it's still 99 cents, so go and check it out. Uh, yep, it's pretty worth it. So I'm gonna race. Let's do this thing. Might just turn them a little bit. 
So yeah, I'm pretty good at this, I guess. So it's pretty addicting. I, I love this game so much. Oh, jeez, what am I doing? Ah, oh, sweet. Ah, uh, what the hell am I doing? So, you can play, I'm not really gonna play for a long time. Because I kind of do play my apps for a really long time. Um, we have Boost 2, Contract Kill 2, Deathworm. Uh, I might just go into that very quickly. Play, Campaign, Merman City, Resume Game. Alright, let's do this. This is really good, guys. So addictive. Uh, yes, I have size up, but that's pretty good. Hello, little citizens. And they're so tiny. <laughs> so you get the point. Just because I'm trying to make this video really short, so I don't want to make it really long. So then we have Doodle Jump. Pretty well aware of what you, you know. I'm pretty sure you know what that is. Dead Trigger, FIFA 13, Frag D, Fragger D, Fragger DS, Flow Free, Fruit Ninja, Frontline Commando, Infinity Blade 2, Into the Dead. Now this app is a pretty good, pretty good app. It's free in the App Store. Okay, let's play this classic. So, what basically you're just maneuvering your way through these, um, through the grass, um, avoiding these zombies. I guess this is a zombie apocalypse, maybe. Just tilting it. Yeah, I'm just. There's se several controls for this. I'm using the tilt to maneuver type of thing. So I'm just trying to avoid getting eaten by the zombies. Ah, oh, really? Ah, oh, God. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, good. I made it. Oh, damn! It's pretty hard playing while you're recording. Let's see, so I got caught at 731 uh, meters. My best is 2,912. That's when I'm not recording. So then we have um, Jetpack Joyride. I'm well aware. I'm pretty sure you know what that is. Lips World 2, Lily, Mega Jump. Uh, then we have Monster Dash, Mega Run. Most Wanted, Ninja Jump, Pocket Planes, Road Trip 2, Smash Sheet Cops. I just want to quickly show you what this app is. Now, like I said before, please leave, in a, leave a comment saying you want me to do a review on one of the apps. I will f uh, free, free, feel free to do it for you. I'm more than happy to do it for any anyone. Alright, let's swap. Okay, let's do this. Alright, let's do this. So, I use the joystick because I prefer that. So, just maneuvering your way through either donuts, either donuts, maneuvering through the traffic, chaos, and trying to catch the culprit. As you can see, I'm pretty good at the dodging, I guess. Maybe not. Successful. So, that's good. Alright. Then, alright. That was a good game. Free app. Then we have the Dark Knight Rises, Trigger Fist. Temple Run. Um, what are so then we have Tiny Tower, Tiny Wings, Ski Safari, uh, Sunday Lawn. Uh, I might quickly go into that. It's a pretty good game. It's free in the app. It's 99 cents in the app store, sorry. Okay, mode. So all you're trying to do is mow the lawn and try and avoid those animals in the way. So to and you have eight levels, and I got hurt. So you get the point. So it's just a pretty, it's nine and cents worth the app, worth the money, I guess. Um, then yeah. So then we have last, a second last, we have Subway Surf, and last but not least, my favorite, Wild Blood. Now, this video has been all about what is on my iPod Touch fifth generation. In future videos, I will be doing a lot of game app reviews. 
and um, my top my top favorite apps. So feel uh, feel free to watch my next YouTube video. I'm hope I'm I'm making I'm making one on what's on my iPad, four. So please don't forget to watch that. And thank you for watching my very first YouTube video.